You see, every endeavor we have pursued, every addiction, every dead-end street that we've been down was just a desperate attempt to fill this temple our way. We all come into this world an empty temple, and we desperately try to fill that empty temple with the world and everything the world has to offer. In a way, you have no say-so over it. The world has so much to offer. I mean, you just look, you watch television, all the stuff that's being advertised. It's so much out there. And so the world says, this is how you fill your temple. Now, if you were living in a third rate country, a third world country, poverty, everything that, you know, you, you wouldn't have these options to fill the temple with all this garbage. But because we live in America, you know, land of opportunity, there's so much out there that is advertised for you to fill your temple with. Now, my question is, how, how is that working for you? Does it really work? Because you've been trying it all of your life. You've been trying to do it all of your entire life. My question is, how is it working for you? Are you truly content? Are you truly happy? Are you truly satisfied? 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 12 says, Now we have received not the spirit of the world. Notice that. We haven't received the spirit of the world. If the spirit of God dwells in you, you haven't received the spirit of the world. But the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. You see, before you made that decision to repent and receive the spirit of God, all you had was the spirit of the world. You were an empty temple and you filled that empty temple with the things of the world. And the world, the spirit of the world says, this is how you can be happy. More material clutter. You know, I, I do jobs on the lake, Smith Mountain Lake, and we do work on homes that will blow your mind. I mean, these places are beautiful. And the, they've got, you know, they got the Escalade, they got the Jaguar, the BMW, they got the boats and the speed boats and the house boats and the decks and the million dollar home and the million dollar piece of property. I and mean, it's just got all kinds of toys. And, 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 you know, but again, a lot of us think, oh, yeah, that would make me happy. Well, how's it working for you? How's that working for you? You could own the world and still be miserable. Material things do not make us happy. That's the bottom line. So the spirit of the world comes along and says, this is how you can be satisfied sexually. Pornography, sin, Whatever, you know, how's that working for you? Uh, this, is how, this is the entertainment that will make you happy. The garbage that is produced by Hollywood. How's that working? Does it really fulfill? Does it really satisfy? You ever been to a movie and you come out and you think, why did I even waste my money on that crap? It was terrible. I mean, I can't believe they can come up with a better plot than that. You know? I was watching, he was over at a friend's house, and he likes to watch movies. I don't, but we watched Top Gun. I had never watched Top Gun. And I thought, when a movie was over, I thought, okay, the moral of this movie is the guy flies fighter jets, uh, he has sex with a woman, and his best friend dies. That was the moral of the movie. I mean, I'm thinking, okay, can't they come up with anything better than that? He fights, a, he, drives, he flies an airplane. He has sex with a woman and his best friend does. Like, okay, all right. How do you make a movie on, on a plot like that? I don't know. <clears throat> but it's just, most of it is just garbage that does not satisfy the inner spirit of a man. The spirit of the world says, this is how you feel good. Drugs, alcohol, how is that working for you? Even when it comes to religion. The world says, this is what you need to do. Get your weekly dose of religion, your 45-minute worship service, and you'll be okay. That doesn't satisfy. Oh, you may be able to deceive yourself into thinking you have a true relationship with God, but that doesn't satisfy. And again, it is insanity. Insanity is when you keep trying the exact same thing over and over. You're on the merry-go-round of life. 
You're on the merry-go-round of churchianity, let's say. You're on the merry-go-round of life, and you're expecting, you're doing the exact same thing over and over again, but you're expecting something to change. You're expecting a different result, and yet you're doing the exact same thing. 